Hi everyone, welcome to today's video, which is the flick through for the Airfix Model World issue 142, September 2022. Um, so we have on the front some nice artwork of a Blackburn Buccaneer. Um, this is Airfix's new 148 scale Buccaneer S2C slash D. Uh, we also have 132 scale, it says here, Cobra, and a 124 scale Lamborghini Contact. So let's have a look. 132 page issue, it says. So we get our welcome page and a picture of one of the completed Buccaneers. And then we're into our contents. So contents, page 58 for the exclusive build for the Buccaneer. Uh, 82 is the Marder 1 tank destroyer. We've got our Cobra on page 16. Page 90 is the Kinetics 148 scale S2 tracker. The Lamborghini is 48 and 30 is Polish Perfection, a striking small scale prototype. Uh, SBS models 172 scale PZL P1. Right, let's have a look, shall we? So straight off the bat, first look news here is Airfix's, um, looks like it's a new tooling for 172 scale Gloucester Meteor F8. And it looks like we're gonna have potentially three colors, three color schemes. One of them potentially looks uh, Belgian Air Force. Okay. Uh, Airfix photo competition. New campaign aimed at inspiring interest in this thrilling world on wings. Airfix is proud to announce the launch of its first annual Airfix Aviation Photo Awards, open to photographers of all skill levels. Exceptional photography deserves exceptional presentation, so Airfix is delighted to announce the following prizes for the winner and runner-up of this new exciting competition, which will close on September 30th, 2022. Winner of the Airfix Aviation Photo Awards will receive £250 to spend on the Airfix website, the Airfix Aviation Photo uh, Award Trophy, publication on the homepage award, and Airfix Club members web pages, an article by Michael Clegg, author of Workbench and Aerodrome, posting on official brand social media accounts with mentions. The runner will receive up to £50 to spend on the Airfix website, mentions in an article by Michael Clegg, author of Workbench and Aerodrome, posting on the official brand social media accounts with mentions, Aviation photography is a key area of interest for the scale modeling community. If you'd like to enter or know someone who may be interested in entering, please find the full details on the competition website, um, ukairfix.com forward slash community forward slash aviation hyphen photo hyphen awards. Okay, so there you go, competition time. Um, We've got a new Avery kit coming from AFE Club uh, for a Churchill Mark V. Avery standing for Armoured Vehicle Royal Engineers. So this one were, has is seems to be fitted with a dozer blade and a demolition uh, gun. We've also got some Spitfire Mark IX uh, decal schemes here. And Edward are releasing a 148 scale Sop with Camel comic. Nozzles, missiles, and bombs. Uh, right, not content with just producing an array of high quality 3D printed resin accessories during an invasion, the Ukrainian firm ResKit is also distributing products for other local firm Kelik 
This batch is focused on Western systems, so uh, ranging from air-to-air -air missiles to JDAMs. Stunning exhaust sets. Phantom and Tomcat builders will appreciate the 148 scale 3D printed nozzles. Okay, so plenty there. Um, for our truck enthusiasts, uh, Italeri 124 scale Scania S730 Highline 4x2. And we have our show guide here and some information on some local clubs. Um, I'll do the usual and photograph this to be included and it'll probably be around about now. Uh, information on subscription. Right, here we go. Okay, now. Intermediate build, snakes in Vietnam, the Huey Cobra. Um, I'm a little bit confused with this because it says new tool 135th scale offering and here it says 132 scale. So um, that looks like it might be a typo because 132 is mentioned on the cover and it's mentioned several times throughout the article. So anyway, uh, AH1G Cobra early production by ICM uh, 132 scale was £52.60 from hanance.co.uk it's a nice kit by the look of it and this cockpit canopy on here looks really clear so that's impressive um, we've got choice of Cobra liveries. We've got one, two, three, four, by the look of it, potential Cobra liveries in this model kit. So intermediate build article on the Cobra. We then have an article on Cobras. Um, venomous hunters. Few aircraft can legitimately be described as iconic. Spitfire certainly savours perhaps, but as Mike Verrier describes, this was also true of Bell's AH1G Cobra. There's a great early production um, photograph here. And lots of great pictures like of the cockpit um, interior engine bay, front on, it was a very sleek aircraft. Somebody let me know, are they, the US Marine Corps still using this as the part of their air support from their um, amphibious assault carriers? Not, not the AH-1, but I'm assuming they're still using a particular version of it. Okay, so this is the Polish Perfection. Um, SBS Models 172 PZL P1 resin kit. So as it's a resin kit, you can expect some really crisp detail on this. And it's a really interesting colour scheme. It's an open top cockpit. But it's a really interesting colour scheme, This just this red and white. Um, kind, of, kind of like just an, like um, some sort of aerobatic, to me, some sort of aerobatic uh, display team livery. So have I missed the... Right, uh, SBS model. It's 36 euros from sbsmodel.com. So yeah, it's looking good. Liking it. Clear resin windscreen was included. A slightly thinner canopy was made from acetate packing material. That's a really interesting um, plane. And the pilot sits around here, so it's actually quite, I, 
I don't know, is that like a normal position? I mean, obviously the engine block is there, but would it not be bad to have the pilot slightly further forward? I don't know, tell me about it. Right, back to basics. Here we go, back to basics, part one, getting started. Now this is for um, the Airfix uh, Mark 5C Spitfire starter set. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, so yes, yeah, just basically going through all the various bits and pieces that you can do when you make a build. Going through some of the tools that you'll need. And then we have an intermediate build for the Airfix 172 scale Tiger. Um, right, so yeah, this is just an article about modeling basics rather uh, so there's no details about the price of the kit but for our tiger obviously airfix 172 scale it's 11.99 and you can get it from airfix.com so we're looking at this uh, so this is obviously a winter camouflage tiger and we've got the starter set going through the construction now you've got the two-piece simplified track version um, or you can do your own link and length by the look of it 24 overlapping and interleaved Schachtel uh, loaf work road wheels I've probably butchered that something chronic I do apologize And yeah, just going through how they did the kit and painted it up in the winter camouflage. Basic build, astonishing supercar. The Lamborghini Contact, 1970. It's a lovely blue color scheme, that. Uh, I'm not normally a fan of supercars, you know, you know I can, I can take them or leave them. Um, but I'm liking the colour scheme on that. But I'm preferring that to the usual red that you might see on fast cars like Ferraris and stuff. So this is a Shima model kit, the Lamborghini Contact 5000, uh, 124 scale, approximately £40 from a Shima stockist. It doesn't give a website, unfortunately. So it looks like there's plenty of, there are 12 ignition leads, six going to each cylinder. So it looks like there's gonna be plenty of detailing to go in when you're doing this. So yeah, nice, like it. Uh, pool Vikings model show so this was at Parkstone Grammar School in Pool some nice model kits I'm liking this um, Shackleton but I'm also liking this this at first glance, I thought that was going to be another flower class Corvette, but it's not. It's um, the Surface Warships Association tables at the pool show featured several highly detailed 172 scale vessels, including this Algerine class minesweeper HMS Storm Cloud by John Edwards. That's nice. I like that. I wish manufacturers would give us some more kits. Um, I'm still building my Bluebell. Um, I haven't forgotten it. it's just parked on a shelf at the moment because I've kind of building back up to getting my mojo back to doing a bit to it um, but I'd like to see more sort of like kits of a roundabout or just slightly bigger than Snowberry's um, the, the flower class Corvette size you know maybe a Fletcher class destroyer or something like that Man manufacturers please come on um, but that's nice 
And here we have it, the exclusive build, the Wavetop Strike, which is Airfix's 148 scale Buccaneer. Wow, that's 72 pounds and 49 pence from airfix.com. Obviously, if you're an Airfix Modelers Club member, you will get 10% off that, but still, that's a hefty, hefty price tag. I mean, but being a 148 scale kit, I'm assuming it's just gonna be, what, about that, that big? Um, but yeah, nice. And the detail on it looks good as well. Uh, cockpit tub, yeah, is highly detailed straight from the box with the addition of the production kit decals will be standout element. Wow, look at all these weapon stores. Sorry, just getting a bit overexcited there. Um, but that's a really nice selection of stores to put on your pylons. It's really impressive. Nice um, low visibility grey there as well. I like that. I like the low visibility grey colour scheme. Seems that you can build it with the air brakes deployed open as well. Um, just looking at the Bombay here. The detail is brilliant, absolutely phenomenal. Looks like you've got weighted tyres, which is always nice. I do prefer it when they add in the weighted tyres into a kit. Okay, so we have uh, In Focus Flying Bucks with the dark blue. So just an article on the Blackburn Buccaneer. It is Blackburn, isn't it? I am remembering that right. Yeah, Blackburn's Buccaneer. There you go. Do 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 do. Anti flash white buck there. That's an interesting colour scheme. So these were still being used um, right up until 1991 in the first. Gulf War. This wraparound two-tone camo here, that looks pretty good. And there's a nice split. S2Bs. So these guys have got um, four Sea Eagle anti-ship missiles. Out and about, great Scott. So we have a really nice um, model of the Antonov AN225. Um, so this was the beastie that was destroyed um, in Kyiv by the Soviets at the start of the Ukrainian uh, war. And we have a nice two-tone buccaneer here in sand and um, light brown. Lights, camera, models. Elstree's Alum Hall and Manor House once again played host to Elstree Model Club's annual model show providing a light, airy and in comparison with some other recent shows, easily accessible location. There's the Mandalorian and Baby Grogu. Dick Dastardly and Muttley. <laughs> nice. Um, nice little HMS Fearless there in 1700 scale and this um, flying wing Horton Go 229 jet fighter IPMS Farnborough modeler Jim Potts created this roadside armoured vehicle repair scene by combining Meng's 135 scale Leopard 1A4 with Tacom's Berg Panzer 2 and a perfect scale modeler's power pack conversion. That's pretty cool. It's nice. 
So we have a 135 scale um, Marder. Uh, this is by Tamiya, um, 135 scale, it's 34.99 from hobbyco.net. Uh, basic build on this one, they've gone for a standard Panzer Grey colour scheme. Okay. And we have 148 scale Blue Menace. Um, now this is a really interesting colour scheme, the blue, black and green. Um, this was for Thailand, was it? So this is um, Rocaf S2AEG Tracker by Kinetic. It's 148 scale, it's $49.99 from luckymodel.com. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can find uh, which Air Force colours these are. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm struggling to see. The site would serve with the Republic of China Air Force from 1967 to 2017. Um, Let's go back to the contents, shall we? 90 Taiwanese. There you go. Okay, Taiwanese. But yeah, it's looking, it looks good. Cockpit looks good. Um, looks like they've added in some PE parts. Don't know if that comes with the kit or not. But that is a striking colour scheme with the blue. I wonder if it works. Right, on the shelf, books. Uh, we have Close Call, uh, RAF Close Air Support in the Mediterranean, USS Alabama BB-60. Uh, Armoured Vehicles of the German Army, this Tankergrad volume forms a useful dual language German and English guide to Bundeswehr's ground-based assets in the modern period. Uh, Czechoslovak arms exports to the Middle East, uh, ferry firefly and attack aircraft of the US Navy and Marine Corps. Uh, the Feisler F1156 Skodorch, RAF tornado units in combat 1992 to 2019, and 90 years of the Indian Air Force. So there are your books. On the shelf, Red Tails and Co. Uh, Tuskegee and other Mustangs. That looks nice, actually. Plenty of decals with this kit. I'm not seeing any price. Here we go, 148 scale, Edward. 4261 from edward.com. Uh, we have the Seabell S, uh, Seabell C204D German night bomber and trainer, the Z226MS trainer, uh, M2H Major Hawk, 
Tiger Moth DH82A, a um, ICM. I couldn't see the manufacturer on the box. Um, ICM. This is the Cobra, I think, from earlier. And Goshawk US Navy trainer CAGS T T45 C Goshawk. And for armor, we have a 148 scale Challenger 2, desertized, the 135 scale um, Panther with Zimmerit, and we're making a return is the Revel Churchill Avery uh, bridge layer, box girder bridge. Uh, so I may get myself one of those. Um, I had one when I was younger. I'm very likely to try and pick myself up another one. And hold the rope, Willy. This looks like a combined diorama kit uh, in this Panther Tank, Berg Panther and KF Z4 scene. So we've got the two Panthers here, the Berg Panther, the standard Panther, and then one of their trucks. Team Suzuki X Star GSX RR twenty, and we have some. We've got the Fiat one three one Arbath um, rally car. The Benz Patent Motorwagen. 1886 German Industrial Tractor D8511 the SLC Mali with crew um, human torpedo HMS uh, HMS Monmouth, Monmouth rather um, F235 type 23 frigate and that's in 1700 scale uh, trumpeter 1700 scale and they're asking 31.99 for it okay and the MTN uh, Barchino with crew, which is a small uh, MTM. Modified civilian touring boat, 135 scale. So we have some figures. We have a 116 assault engineer, Sapper, Soviet assault engineer. A Ukrainian soldier with N Law, AK 74. We have Polish cavalry officer, 135 scale. And this is something that I'm actually interested in. Victrix Games appear to be releasing a whole set of one 144 scale vehicles and figures. So we've got British late war infantry, 43 to 45, German late war infantry. 43 to 45. The price for these kits each is 30 pounds from victrixlimited.com. However, it says here Wargaming has entered a smaller scale um, phase with 12 millimeter, approximately 1144 scale, becoming popular. This comes with 184 figures in Victrix's late war British infantry. It's easy to see why there are 80, sorry, there are eight styrene runners with four each of the two frames. Most figures, 76, are infantrymen wielding Bren guns, Lee Enfield rifles or Sten machine guns and all poses are included, prone crouching and standing and running. It is with the more specialised teams that this set delivers with Piat crews, Vickers guns, radio operators and a superb mortar team. Despite the scale, the details are excellent, notably on, notably on the weapons and there's even an infantryman reaching for a magazine. With the Germans, again, there's 184 individual figures, roughly equivalent to a company. Specialist elements include eight MG42 teams, four are crouched and the other quartet prone. Four examples of both 50 and 80 millimeter mortar teams, plus eight of the Panzerfaust, Panzerstreck anti-tank team operators. There are also four radio operators, 12 ammo carriers, plus eight each of officers and non-commissioned officers with the remaining 96 all infantrymen. For, I mean, I know 
things like bolt action are taking off, you know, uh, and flames of war. Um, but this, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I might, I might get into it. But it's looking good because we've got Vespi, Stuarts, Tiger Ones, Hannah Mags, Fireflies, M3s, M10 tank destroyers, Panzer IVs, Cromwell tanks, and they're saying that coming soon is Russian infantry and Fulcrum Jaeger. Okay, onto the decals, and we've got quite a bit here. We've got um, Stalin's Speed Bomber, Foxbot decals, um, Frog, uh, SB2M100s. Uh, we have Desert Storm F14As decal schemes. F15 Grim Reapers, Reapers. Uh, Israeli Air Force Kfir. Uh, Raphael Solo Display 2018 and JE53 Cartoon BF109 G6. And then some aftermarket parts here. We've got some AGM142 Popeyes. Uh, Spitfire Mark 1 to 9 covered main wheels, A4 ejection seats, uh, Bowfighter Mark 2 late type conversion set. Um, yeah, Spitfire Mark 5 landing flaps, 148 scale there. So plenty going on. British 1000 pound retarded bombs, 20 millimeter oiler can cannon. In 172 scale. Nice. Right, so there you go. Um, and I think coming into the last few pages of advertising. And then display case. So nice A4 Skyhawk there. Nice Supermarine uh, Mark 12 Spitfire. And then a figure and a Italieri Fiat Mephistofel. Okay, outstanding. Right, so there you go. That is Airfix Model World issue 142 for September 2022. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, leave a comment below um, if you've got anything to say about some of the uh, articles. And I shall speak to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.